The first of these five goals revolves around an emphasis on rigor, relevance, and opportunity as we structure programming to prepare our students to compete successfully beyond high school. Implementing research-based best practices and instruction, our teaching staff is second to none in making this happen. Their untiring efforts to take students from where they are and move them to new heights of achievement is the cornerstone of our student-centered approach to instruction. Utilizing tools designed to identify specific learning needs, teachers are customizing their lessons to ensure that students get the one-on-one, -on -one, skill-focused lessons they need. Our building schedules have been revised to provide time for intervention, remediation, and enrichment. Subject area courses of study have been, in, have been revised to implement Common Core Plus academic standards and assessment routines have been redesigned to simulate the high stakes expectations of the 21st century. Local school superintendents must be on the front line as advocates for the preservation of public schools in a state that boasts some of the least restrictive charter school policies in the nation. Despite the continued academic failure of many of Ohio's charter schools, perhaps even the majority of them, some parents continue to choose these alternative educational pathways, draining public funds for education from our public institutions. This year, Woodridge will lose over $500,000 from our already meager state funding as 65 students living within our boundaries choose educational programming elsewhere. Our focus, by necessity, must be to win these families back into the Woodridge fold. We can do this by providing our own alternative pathways, the most rigorous and relevant educational opportunities, and numerous extra and co-curricular experiences as we reconnect with each of these families. This year we will mount a concerted campaign aimed at those families in hopes that we can take another look, that they will take another look at the options available to them right here in their own home public school district. Last year, working in collaboration with our district architects from Ron and Steidel of Acton, the board completed and approved a comprehensive facilities master plan. Most significantly, the study revealed that both Woodridge Primary School and Woodridge Intermediate School require extensive repair and renovation, the costs of which would greatly exceed those of simply rebuilding the facilities. The study found that Woodridge High School requires additional classroom space and renovation to the existing gymnasium and some of our music and arts facilities. Woodridge Middle School, albeit our newest building, will require a new roof in the very near future. These findings have prompted the board to consider placing a bond issue on an upcoming ballot to secure funds to complete these projects. Our architects have completed sketches that show that a new pre-K to 5 complex can be built on our Quick Road campus on land already owned by the school district. 